Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of spring decorating here in my hallway that is just off of my entry there to the left. But before I start decorating, I have to show you the best thrift store find yet for me. I got this Tuesday. Does anybody know what it is? It's a Longenberger. Can you believe it? I've never found one until now. This is the first time I've ever found one at any thrift store. So whoever was selling it originally has this little tag on here. It's a 1998 Red Cherished Memories uh, basket with a lid for $95. Goodwill has it for $6.99. I was shocked. Of course, the tags were not on sale. That's okay. I would pay $7 for this all day long. It has a nice wood lid. Uh, I can tell this hasn't been used. Still got the plastic liner in it, the cloth liner, telling you how to care for everything. It has the little picture frame. I think somebody might have used this like at a party because I think originally the picture frame comes in a little box and they probably had it displayed. So whoever the hostess was, this was more of their display. It does have some white on here, but it, it will come off. It looks like it's been stored where maybe some cobwebs got on it, but that's okay. I'm not going to keep this. I'm actually going to be selling this here pretty soon. But I just wanted to show you because I was just so excited to actually find a Longenberger basket. All right, enough of the basket. Let's go ahead and get started on the decorating. So what I'm going to do is start on my shelf right here first. And I'm going to actually do the right side. And I always like to use this one container here. I got it at a thrift store many years ago, and I think it's a magnolia one, if I remember right. Just going to add some greenery in it. I am not going to be using any flowers anywhere today. It's just going to be all about whites, grays, and some greenery. I always like to use this little container here, this little box with the chicken wire. It's so rustic looking. I love to use this. I'm just going to leave it as is. Now I want to go ahead and add something over here to the left side before I do anything in the middle. I just added a white ceramic container with some greenery and a little bird's nest in it. Then I'm going to add this bunny. I painted this bunny, I think it was last year, it was a pastel pink and I painted it to look like this. I like it this way much better. I'm also going to add this lettuce head that I got from Hobby Lobby many years ago. I really do love this. And I'm going to add one more thing over here to the right next to the box. And that is another piece that's from Hobby Lobby. I actually got this at the thrift store. Now I want to do just a little bit more. I have these little vine looking pieces. Uh, I think I got this off of a wreath from a thrift store many years ago. And that's all I'm going to do up there. Now I want to start on the top of my entry table. The first thing I did was put this little riser here. It's one that I made a while back and I wanted to raise my lamp up just a little bit. I had this cute little bird bath. It's metal, a little rustic, French country, shabby chicish looking. And I'm just going to add some greenery right here. And that is all that I'm going to do on this side. So now the next side over here, I am going to be adding this gray basket. I have a set of two. This is the bigger size. And I'm just going to be adding some greenery into it. And that is all. I think that's enough. I want to add another detail, which is this cute little bunny that was a thrift store find that I did revamp it to look like this. And I know there's a big space there, and that is because I have to use a tray here. This is where sunglasses go, keys go, sometimes some mail. So I didn't want to put too much on here. So here's how this is looking so far. Again, I'm not going to use any flowers, just mainly grays, some little bit beiges, and some whites. Now we got to do the bottom. So the first side I'm going to work on is the left. And I have this basket here with some greenery in it. It already came this way. I got this from Home Goods many years ago. And next to it, I'm going to add that other small gray basket that matches the one up top. I'm not going to put any greenery in it though. And I think this is all I'm going to do on this side. So now I want to go over here and cover up my ugly timer for my lamp. And I'm starting off with this rustic uh, wooden box. I got this from Ross many years ago and I have the other size, the smaller size on top. 
And then I'm just going to add this little bird's nest here. I think this is so cute. And I'm also going to add a couple of these green bottles. They actually had extra virgin olive oil in them, but I like the way they look, so I keep them and use them for decor. I also went ahead and added this lantern that I already had on here uh, around fall time, but I think it looks really pretty. I just want to add a little bit of greenery over here, just a touch. And I think I'm going to add one more thing over here after looking at this side. And that is that bunny head that I made a while back. I do have a video on how I made that bunny head. I think we need a little bit more greenery over here though to break up. Yeah, there we go. That looks perfect. All right, let's check out how the whole table looks. I know it looks a little sparse from everything else that I did on the top of the table, but like I said, I need that space in the middle. And I didn't want to put too much stuff on there that might get knocked off and broken. And I decided not to put anything on my hall tree because it's still cold here in the mornings where we need our coats and I will uh, start hanging those again here. I'm going to come in here so you can see everything close up. All right, my sweet friends, that's going to do it for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, I appreciate a big thumbs up. I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.